My name is Jen Moberg. I am the owner of Choo Choo Bobs. That's Engineer Paul. Where? <laughs> oh. Choo Choo! Best story time. I gotta go catch city. a train now. <laughs> Hi there, I'm Gianna from Family Fun Twin Cities, and this is the Let's Go Do Fun Stuff show. In 2005, Bob Medcraft, a TV and video producer by trade, decided to try his hand at retail toy sales. He loved model trains and had been known for years by his friend's kids as Choo Choo Bob. So it just made sense to put it all together and create a tailor-made space for kids and adults alike to enjoy trains together. Since 2005, Choo Choo Bobs has become an icon in the Twin Cities, and it's gone through some changes, including ownership. Meet Jen Moberg and learn about the transition of locations from St. Paul to St. Louis Park and back to St. Paul, and hear about how they got through the challenges of COVID, just to name a few. And also, FYI, we did this interview quite a while ago, so some of the things seem maybe... A little like they were recorded in the summer because they were so let's get started can you tell me about um, your journey of um, acquiring Choo Choo Bobs like real quick yeah so I first found out about it um, just kind of driving I drove um, for a line of EMS in an ambulance oh. and we drove around St. Paul a lot um, I drove by Choo Choo Bob's a couple of times and I Googled it. My son was like two at the time, two or three. Um, and I Googled it and saved it and like looked up on Facebook and your, I saw like one of your posts. Oh, really? Like, about it, yeah. Saying like, oh, free, like fun thing to do with the kids and mm -hmm. stuff. Can I take a second and just say how cool is that? Sorry, but this is an FFTC highlight for sure. Okay, back to Jen. So I brought my son there, and I was like, oh, this place is so cute. Like, it's just adorable. Uh -huh. You know, I was like, like we bought a couple things and played, and we live over on the west side, so I never brought them back. And I kind of <laughs> thought it was going to, like, close, because, like, all the product on the shelves is all dusty yeah. and stuff like that. So I was like, oh, this place is not going to close. You know, <laughs> they don't have charging for these train tables. Like, mm -hmm. there's no product, you know, but it's super cute. Um, and then fast forward a couple years, I sold my house. I was working in an emergency room, like on my downtime. I was like, what can I buy? <laughs> oh, like you were like, I want to do a business. I yeah, want to do like, something. Yeah, like what should I do? Because I got my MBA and okay. stuff. And, um, yeah, so I was in there like, what can I spend this money on that I made from this house? You know? <laughs> and it said like a train store in St. Paul for sale. I'm like, oh, I said they can like train tables and stuff. I was like, huh. I wonder if that's two two bucks. Like that can't uh -huh. still be open, you know. It's been right. like two years. Right. And I called the like the sales agent like right then. I was like, hey, is this two two bucks? Let's see on you know your site. He said, yeah. I was like, oh sweet. Can I come see it? He's like, yeah. Nice. <laughs> yeah. So and then that like the whole like sale process took about six years or like six months. Okay. Yeah. So yeah, then we got it going. We were going good. It was my business partner, Rachel and I at the time mm -hmm. who did it together and she like actually lived right next door to me in Rob oh. in Robinsville. Oh, nice. we, yeah. So um so yeah, we bought it together. Let's see. Yeah, we got it going really good and then COVID shut us down, landlords kicked us out so we couldn't pay the rent and And that yeah. you're still talking Saint Paul. Yeah. This is still Saint it's Paul. Still Saint Paul. Yeah. Yep. So then we moved everything out of there and into storage here at the Union Depot. Mm -hmm. So they were nice enough to give us a really large space for all of our things for very cheap. Yeah, so, yeah, yeah, it's hard to find that. Yeah, yeah. so it was building a, you know, a good relationship there like during COVID and keeping in touch and everything. Yep. And then um, we found out about the pop-up location at St. Louis Park um, after they got a new general manager and the roof started leaking. We can't, we were there like, we can't rent out this space anymore. You gotta get it out. You here know, in the here Union Depot. Here in the Union Depot, yeah. There was like, there was like the pillars, there was like water coming out of the pillars, like onto our stuff. We're like, oh yeah. And I knew about the pop-up location at St. Louis Park. So we opened it there because basically we didn't 
no. <laughs> right. <laughs> so why not be open yeah, if you can? Yeah, yeah. Kind of like you gotta either you know open it up to sell it, open it up to liquidate, or open it up. Those were like right. my first two thoughts. But right. Then it was like so popular, like right away in yeah. St. Louis Park. But like, and it was like pretty fun too. Yeah. You're like, yeah. Oh, this is good. This is fun. Yeah. Yeah. So, okay. Yeah. So we kept going as long as we could there. Um, before they raised the rent a little bit too high for mm -hmm. us, and mm -hmm. um, the tenants that were in here before was a cotton candy business. Oh yeah, yeah. Um, and they decided just to be at the state fair and okay. come here, and so yeah. this space opened up. So it was just good timing, just staying in touch with you know networking yeah. with people for years. And, yeah, you know, kind of thing. So. And Engineer Paul told me that Union Depot really wanted you guys. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. They tried to get us to move in, like, during, or, like, during COVID. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 So they've been trying to get us to move in here for, like, four years. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Wow. Wow. Yeah. Well, I'm glad you're finally here because it just yeah. seems perfect. Yeah, it is perfect. Yeah. Yeah. What will you find when you come here? Like... I know it's a pay-to-play space now. It's not, but it's still really affordable. Like, it's is it by hour or how does that go? No, it's not by hour. Um, basically, yeah, you can pay the admission fee, which is two dollars per adult, and then uh, um, ten dollars per kid, ages one through ten. So okay. basically, walking into <laughs> yeah until they're until done playing with, yeah, yeah. yeah until they're like sitting on the couches watching yeah yeah, yeah. we're gonna put a little game station in there for the oh ones. okay for unfortunate souls that <laughs> right. can do it. so oh, no yeah, it's yeah, not sorry. per hour um but it's just for the day okay so you know on from on mondays and fridays we're open 10 to 1 mm -hmm. so if you come at 10 you can hang out watch story time then you can leave for a little bit go watch the train depart and come back until one okay so you can leave and come back um on um, any day we're open so okay weekends from 10 to 5 on the weekdays 10 to 1. Gym fee um includes all the rooms so you'll have a room full of um interactive train tables some of the tops are glued on some of them are free play um a magnet wall doll houses bubbles the bubbles a lot coloring um then there is a bouncy house room and another play area room with um, large legos mm -hmm. and uh, hot wheels and yeah stuff. yeah and then there's two birthday party room options this one is like a smaller one and then the other one in the back with the inflatable cupcake <laughs> well we'll show you that <laughs> <laughs> very suspenseful. <laughs> very. So that's a perfect word for it. Is it yeah. going to pop up? <laughs> yeah. Is it going to do anything? <laughs> so do you have, um, how long have you been here? Like right now as we're talking, it is the summer of 2024. So you opened when? Here. Here we opened in May. In May. So just a couple months ago. Oh, yeah. yeah. You opened during train days or like no, right, we, before yeah, right before that. Before. Yeah, yeah, that's yeah. right. Yeah. So what are some of the challenges of being, I mean, every place is different. Choo Choo Bobs on Marshall and Cleveland um, had a different feel than the Choo Choo mm -hmm. Bobs over in St. Louis Park. Mm -hmm. And I'm, and you were saying this one is not, and here in Union Depot, it's a little um, more like, cubbies <laughs> not, you know like little corners of places yeah. to go yeah more areas to explore not one yeah. big open area as yeah. much um, but different areas for kids to explore and yeah the little ride on trains to, to explore yeah so. and the and adults there's pretty much a spot for them to sit anywhere they yeah. want to yeah. yeah 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 that's cool outside of the door is like the big train statue you can sit on kind of thing, right? Yeah, yeah, it's yeah. a big train statue. We're just out there as a placeholder now. We're going to probably move that back in soon because um, we're getting a couple of coin-operated oh. train rides to put out there. Oh, that, that's perfect. Yes, yes. Like so, so, cool. so iconic and like Americana. <laughs> okay, so do you have any plans for the future? Because knowing business owners, we're always, we're always like, what's the next thing even yeah. though like I'm, I'm like so like stuck in the mud right here that i have to like yeah. make this happen i still like i'm thinking you far ahead see, you have to yeah. be able to see so we're so new here that it's like i have like several different like ways you could 
go. Okay, yeah, yeah. You're like you can't even you can't even tell me one because yeah, there's so yeah, many there's ideas. So, yeah, there's so many ideas. Okay. And Union Depot being so big, um, mm -hmm. and you know more field trip options. Oh yeah. Um, yeah, more you know like little tour type mm -hmm. kids friendly tour options or scavenger hunts. So we mm -hmm. have a lot more space than just our space to work with. Yeah, you know? yeah, especially being Union Depot and you are like trains. It's not like yeah. you're a just coffee shop's great and it's right next door but mm -hmm. um which the coffee shop is right next door that's highly important um, <laughs> yes. like I remember when my kids were little and we would come to Union Depot and it was fun to look around for like five minutes mm -hmm. and then they're like right running which was fine because nobody's mm -hmm. here right <laughs> <laughs> but also that's not the point right yes. <laughs> um and so now like there's like kids and adults like there's artwork out there that's so pretty to look at yeah. and you're not that you can leave your kids in here by themselves don't do that <laughs> yeah. but um like you can say mom wants to look for five minutes yeah and, and then, then come, come back, back. Yep. yeah mm -hmm. yeah and i'm so excited you're here yeah that's really cool it, it is yeah and there's like you know there's like outdoor like picnic areas mm -hmm. that are close by and also yeah, so, and parks. Yeah, yeah and parks that's true. And, so just park mm -hmm. here and just kind of walk around. Mm -hmm. Can you tell me about story time? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yes. Yeah, so Engineer Paul does story time on Mondays and Fridays currently okay. at 1030. Okay. Um, he has several different routines and stuff. Mm -hmm. um, and then we have live music um, at 11 on Saturday. With him? No, with um, uh, Rob Stokes. He's a younger okay. musician. Okay. He reached out to me on Facebook. He's like, hey, <laughs> I know some train songs. I would love to see you <laughs> nice. your store. I'm like, okay. Oh, <laughs> so his, like, his, his, what do they call it? His set is pretty much the same? or um, He switches it up a okay. bit. Like, he's always like adding new songs. Okay. He's, like, he does like covers and original. Okay. And he wears, oh, like, cool. Thomas Tank t shirt and stuff. Oh, that's cool. Yeah. That's cool. Yeah, he's pretty cool. So. Yeah, he does that on Saturdays. Um, and then we have birthday party rentals and field trip options mm -hmm. and like small groups. A lot of people do like, you know, like mom's groups. Or, oh, yeah. You know, after church groups or, you know, stuff like Is that. Is it only too. when you're open? No. Okay. Yeah, we've had private rentals too. Okay. Yeah, and like during the day for field trips um, mm -hmm. or weekend, like nights for, you know, oh, yeah. birthday parties. And oh, stuff yeah, like that's that. a good idea. Yeah. Yeah, it's a really good idea. Yeah, we also have really sing along idea. karaoke here. A no lot way. Too. Yeah, that's cool. Yeah. So, on uh, you said Mondays and Fridays are our story time at ten thirty with Engineer Paul. Yeah. With Engineer Paul, um, and you're paying to play and also to see him, right? right. Like yeah. he's in the play area. Correct. Yeah. yeah. Um, and then your live music. You said Thursdays or Saturdays? Saturdays. Saturdays at eleven. At eleven for. It's like an hour, hour. Oh, it's like about an hour, like an hour, hour. Okay, okay. Um, and and then there's all kinds of rental options. Yeah. Okay. Yes. <laughs> and it during store hours and not. Yes. Okay. That's really cool. Yeah. I really like that idea. Yeah. Did you get all that information? If not, don't worry about it. We will have it in the show notes. I asked Jen if she had any funny stories to share, and honestly. It wasn't so much funny as reassuring. I think one of like the reoccurring funny things is, is just, <laughs> I guess it's kind of, well, it's kind of funny. <laughs> <laughs> when kids like throw us such fits that, you know, when they have to leave. <laughs> you, you think know, it's funny? Like, it's just great because they just don't want to go and they'll yep. put like everything into not going. Like, you obviously feel bad for the parents. <laughs> <laughs> but for us, it's like fun to watch because it feels us, it makes us like feel good. Like, okay, the kids had fun. Like, we, we may not want to go. Yeah, you know? exactly. <laughs> so it's good to know as a parent who's having a fit or who's having a kid with a fit that we you, actually you enjoy that. Because <laughs> yeah. I had one of those and I would put them on my shoulder and yeah. I'd just be like, you're bothering everyone. Yeah. And that actually is not necessarily the case. No, most okay. of the time it's just bothering the parents. Yeah. Yeah, and everyone else is like, oh. <laughs>
<laughs> we have like we blow train whistles at them and calms them down at the time. Really? So, yeah, that helps. Yeah. Might it like grabs their attention or <laughs> yeah, something? Grabs yeah. their attention, snaps them out of it or something. Yeah. So that helps. But yeah, kids will like run and hide under train tables, they'll run and hide like in <laughs> places. They're still not playing. <laughs> They're still not leaving. Just, yeah, one could lock to itself in the bathroom here. We had to like do it. <laughs> Wow! Yeah, that's awesome. Yeah, no, time, it's not. <laughs> yeah, we were leaving. I was leaving in St. Louis Park location, and the toddler was walking with mom. He's like, "But well, mom, I thought you loved me. Why? Why are we leaving?" <laughs> 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 yeah. You're from the Twin Cities, or at least maybe not from the Twin Cities, mm -hmm. but you live in the Twin Cities. Mm -hmm. And you have kids here, or one kid, or a couple? Two. Two. Okay. Yeah. Um, what have you done? What do you like to do for fun with them or without them? <laughs> yeah, well, I like, used to like to do all the fun kid stuff that you would post, actually. <laughs> yeah. like, we would do everything. We go to, you know, the life, we go to the zoo, we go to, like everywhere. Oh, that's great. Doing the splash pads, parks, like all sorts of things. So then they got older. And they didn't really want to hang out with you as much anymore. Right? <laughs> and suddenly they just want you to take them places. Yes, yeah, they just want you to take them places. Because, yeah, they're like, my son is 11 and mm -hmm. my daughter is 15. And mm -hmm. so it's very rare that we find something that they both want to actually do. Mm -hmm. Usually it's like either me dragging both of them or yeah. like one of them wants to go and one like has to come with, you know, kind of a thing. We're all going to have fun. <laughs> yeah, yeah. That's an order. <laughs> yeah, so... Um, well, thank you so much. This yeah. has been delightful. I'm very excited for you guys. Thank you. Yeah. Very too. Yeah, it's pretty fun. So come out to Juju Bob's as soon as possible. I know you're feeling like me. I gotta get out to Choo Choo Bob's as soon as possible. It is really as cute as it looks and it's really as magical as it feels. I want to thank Jen Moberg one more time for having Family Fun Twin Cities come out there and get to know the space. It's beautiful. You will love it. MBA because she's a really good business owner. Oh, uh, St. Mary's University. Parking here currently with the flooding at the Mississippi River is kind of interesting. <laughs> it's cool to look at. It's <laughs> super <laughs> cool to look at. Yeah, I was turning down the road. I was like, oh, yeah. that, that, that road's closed. Right. <laughs> right. Excellent idea. That MBA is working well for you. <laughs> I know, finally doing something. Right. <laughs> 